Hey YouTubers, this is Mr. Reef Buster coming to you today with a new video. Um, today's video, I'm going to keep it really short. Uh, it'll be a quick 10 minute video max. Um, I'm going to talk about this tank really fast, show you guys what's going on, how everything is doing with the after a month of the sump refugium being added to this 45 gallon tank. Um, show you guys how the corals are doing the livestock are doing and uh, i'm gonna show you guys some changes that i made to the sump refugium and some changes in the display tank as well so before i start i just want to thank everyone who is showing support um, for my channel my videos leaving comments of suggestion and inspiration and everything and asking me those of you guys asked me to turn this into a weekly channel where i upload a new video every week I'm still considering that I don't know if I'm gonna do it hope maybe I will but in order for me to do make a video weekly I would have something to talk about as being I'm a new guy in this uh, in this hobby I have I don't have much to talk about actually I'm here to learn um, from you guys so leave comments let me know if you think um, what you would like for me to talk about if I know the topic that you want me to talk about I'll discuss it in a video if I don't I'll let you guys know um, but without further ado let's get into the tank let's get into display tank uh, I'll show you guys everything what's going on now one thing that has changed since I installed the sump refugium the maintenance I do on this tank went down to once a week which means I feed my corals once a week um, water changes I do probably once a month once at once a month now and what else and partially that's another reason because the tank this tank is in my parents house and i go back to my house and i come back i move recently so that's that's why i come once a week to look at this tank and take care of it and that, that's part of it so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this tank if I wanna keep going forward with this tank, like having more additions and upgrades to this tank or not. Um, we'll talk about it in a different video in the future. So let's get to the tank. The first thing I did, if you notice, is I changed the flow of this tank. I got two, I have two Hydra Corale 1500 GPH power heads running. One on the left is toward the front bottom of the tank. This way the flows toward the front of the tank and toward the bottom. And the one on the back is toward the right, toward the surface of the tank, uh, where it pushes the water toward the overflow box on the left. So that's a, that's a good thing. And ever since that, my anemone has come from the other side of the tank, which it went toward them in the middle. He went to the opposite side of the rocks, and he, now he came back to the front because he loves the flow. As you can see, my fish love the love that as well. Now I have them running on a Simon simultaneous flow every five seconds. So every five seconds they turn on, and every five and they turn off for the next five seconds. So on and off, constantly. Um, so that's that. And as you, if you look carefully inside the tank from the sand bed, um, they did kind of get detritus settling down on the sand bed that's because at the moment I don't have any invertebrates or cleanup crew to um, shift the sand bed and I haven't been able to manually shift the sand bed myself because I come here once a week to do maintenance on this tank so I gotta get some cleanup crew or something to shift the sand leave a comment below which what do you think would be the perfect option for me to shift the sand on this tank I, I mean, I will. I wouldn't like to do it myself. I would like for it to happen naturally, like a, a sand shifting goby or a starfish. Let me know what you guys think from your experience is the best option for me um, to shift the sand bed daily. Keep this sand moving or stirred all the time. So, so put that in the comments below. Um, now my water. I did a water test yesterday. So as of yesterday, my calcium was at 570, uh, which is a little high. I think people want to be around 450. Um, and my alkalinity was at 7.4 dKH. So let me know in the comments if that those are ideal parameters for you, uh, if that's what you have on your tanks, guys. And my salinity is at 35. Um, and my nitrates are a little high as so my ammonia they, my ammonia but jumped up from zero to like 0.5 uh, ppm 
I don't know why that spike happened, but I'm gonna keep monitoring it and do maybe do a water change to take care of that. But other than that, everything is good. I mean, um, in my previous video, I told you guys that I got this uh, Raspberry Montipora frag to see if my tank is ready for SPS, and this guy started to bleach already, which means my tank isn't ready for SPS. So. That's a quick way to find out if your tank is ready. <laughs> if you're ready for uh, you know hardy cor hard corals like SPS. Um, this tank isn't, so I'm gonna keep uh, the addition of new corals to the minimum on this tank, uh, and we'll go from there. Now let, I want to move up to the top. Show you guys. I don't know if I showed you guys this on this tank. I did add this this egg crate on the top half of the tank. This way I can access it better. And the light, this way the light from the LEDs could reach the tank better as well. And I have the glass in the back. And if you see, these two pipes are my canister filter. I want to ask you guys a question today. If you think I should keep the canister filter running on this tank even though I have a sun perfusion on it. Uh, leave, leave it in the comments below what you guys think. If it's wise to keep uh, a canister filter running while I'm running um, sun perfusion. If it's gonna help or if it's gonna hurt this tank, let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate that. And like I said, I'm gonna keep the video short. Um, before I move down to the refugium section, I wanna show you guys my thermometer. My temperature, even though it's been pretty hot in New York City, really hot and humid for the past couple of weeks. My temperature on this tank, right under 80. 79, 78, floats around that, which is perfect. So. It's good to know my tank isn't affected by this heat wave, this humid heat that we have in NYC right now. So let's get down to the bottom, show you guys the sun perfusion and how everything is doing down there. Guys, now we're in the bottom of the tank and the first thing you're going to notice is this little blue little container on the right side. And that is my uh, auto top off reservoir. And that's where I put the RO water for the auto top off system. I know if you remember my previous video, I said I had to take out my auto top off system because of um, space issues. Uh, my auto top off used to be um, a salt container, a five gallon salt bucket that I converted into a you know, just clean it up, put some RO water in it using that as auto top of reservoir, which was on the outside of the tank, and I had to get rid of it because it was an eyesore apparently so I went to Home Depot got this five gallon um, container for $18 I wanted to I mean I wish I could get I could get a expensive fancy uh, acrylic uh, professionally made reservoirs on the top of reservoirs from those from the websites but they go for like 60 70 80 hundred dollars which is ridiculous I mean, I would love to make my own. That would be uh, maybe it'll be an awesome DIY project in the future. But I, I had to find a quick solution, and this was my quick solution, which is not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it gets the job done. This five-gallon um, can runs for about a week. So every week, I have to uh, add more RO water into it. So that's that. Now let's get to the the main reason we're here. The protein skimmers, the bubble magnets. If you can see, the collection cup is almost full. It's thick, gooey water. That's because I haven't uh, emptied it since I installed it. So it's going through this breaking period. Hopefully, it's almost done. And I'm gonna tweak with it a little bit more. Uh, right now it's running on, um, as we like to say, um, dry skimming. And the hang on the back on the on the back of this sump, the HOB uh, reflectopus, that's running on wet skimming. So I have dry and wet at the same time. This way, it's a new thing I'm trying out. See how it works. So the bubble magnus is rated for 75 to 80 gallons and the reflectopus is supposedly for 100 gallons. So these two should be able to ha handle the water volume in the sun refugium and the display tank. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted in my future videos on how they're doing. Um, now let's show you guys some of the new things I, was, I added to this uh, sump since I installed it. 
you look on the bottom, this is a 20 GPH power, uh, power head. So, what this does is keeps the water moving in the first chamber. This is where there's no detritus settling on the bottom. Which, which means it just keeps the, all the debris floating in the water. This way, the sump, I mean, the, not the, sump, the protein skimmer could catch it all and do what it needs to do. So that's another thing. Um, there's another tiny little power head right there. That's a five gallons per hour. That, that's just making sure the water gets added to the intake of the hang on the back protein skimmer. And if you see my Ketomorpha doubled in size since I introduced it to the sump. And it's come up to the surface like it's floating on the surface of the water. I guess to get closer to the light. Let me know in the comments below if it's recommend if you guys think if they should be um, floating like this on top of the water or they or if you guys want me to like tie it down to the live rock in the, in the bottom. Let me know what's the best way because the one like if you see look at it is green on the one side and then around it is like brownish like it's got diatoms on it or something. So let me know what I should do if this is okay or if I need to do some changes to it. And as far as the last chamber nothing has changed still the same. So that's about it. That's about it. You know, like I said, I was gonna, like I told you guys before, I'll keep the video short and simple. You know, let's go back up top and I will finish up the video. So yeah, now that we're back up top, I just want to um, recap with you guys what happened. So, like I said, I asked you guys a couple of questions in this video. Please leave a comment in the below, in the section below, give it, leaving me advice of what you think I should be doing with the canister filter and what I should do with the Ketomorph on the bottom of my refugium and topics you like for me to talk about in the future or well, you know I do appreciate all the support uh, the criticism everything is everything is appreciated by me you know I'm, I'm trying I'm here to learn and hopefully some other new guys like me will be able to learn with me by watching my video that's my goal uh, keep supporting me guys like and subscribe uh, I do appreciate everything that you guys have done for me so far and I'll keep in mind if I you know if the support is there, I have no problem turning this into a weekly channel where I upload a video every week and talk about stuff. Um, I know in the near future I'm going to have another tank, that's for sure, so that's going to help with the weekly uh, weekly videos. So we'll talk about in the future video what kind of tank I'm going to be getting next. Should I get a nano or should I get a 100 plus gallon tank? So. Until next time, uh, be safe, happy reefing guys, um, you know, just enjoy the hobby. I know it's an expensive and um, tedious hobby, but do enjoy it. I do, I enjoy every moment of it. You know, watching my fishes, my corals thrive, it's, 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 it's a great feeling that you had everything and everything, anything and everything to do with the way your livestock um, are handling themselves, you know? So it's a, it's a great feeling and enjoy the hobby. Uh, like and subscribe, like I said, leave comments. Um, let me know what I'm doing wrong so far or any suggestions you guys have for my tank. I do appreciate it. So until next time, peace out and enjoy the rest of your day.